Well, good morning. I'm hitchhiking again. This time, trying to leave Bernie. Usually it's a little easier hitchhiking out of a town, I think. Cars are going slow. We got a chance to pull off. Got a chance to take a look at you. It's kind of not working out this morning. Even though there's a fair amount of traffic. So, we live in hopefulness. Yes? No? No. Yes? Yes. No. Okay. Okay. Well, I got my ride. I have to walk from the safe place where the guy was able to pull off the road um, who, who picked me up. As I was standing there hitchhiking, I was reflecting how uh, I always get picked up by people who have working pickups with a bag of tools in back and dents in the truck and never with someone who has a fancy schmancy pickup truck with chrome wheels and finely detailed never ever get picked up by someone with a very nice car. It's always an old beat up old Chevy or whatever. And sure enough, the guy who stopped and picked me up was uh, driving an old Dodge Caravan, I think. The back didn't close properly, didn't open properly. It was full of junk. There was a sack of potatoes in back. Uh, I kind of had to, there was a bunch of junk on the passenger side uh, floor, so I had to sort of move that aside. Uh, people who have more to lose live in fear. And people who don't have that much to lose, hey, they're open. Hey, let me help, help somebody else out who might need a little help. Uh, you know, hey, this looks like an interesting guy. I'll have a, have a conversation with him as I drive to work. People have something to lose. They're more lonely and they live in fear. And heading north from Bernie. I've seen this before, but uh, get a little good view of Mount Shasta in the distance. Shining in the sun. A little happy mountain, as Mr. Ross might say. Well, this is uh, Bernie Falls. 129 feet that's fallen. Yeah. Just off of the Pacific Crest Trail in a state park. So I'm about uh, eight or ten miles north of Bernie Falls now. The uh, sun's going to be setting here within an hour, maybe half an hour. Uh, earlier today, I was looking at a video from a uh, now triple crowner named Dixie, who uh, got this huge following when she did her first uh, through hike of the Appalachian Trail and only grew uh, when she 
made videos of her through hike on the PCT and then the Continental Divide Trail. And uh, I remember she had, she and her hiking companions at the time on the PCT had something called a 24 hour challenge. How far can you hike in 24 hours? And I knew it was somewhere in this area. And so I was curious and I went back and I looked at the video today when I was lollygagging around instead of walking. And uh, I, I could figure out that she started at Drake's Bad or the campground just tenth or two tenths from Drake's Bad Guest Ranch. And she went about three miles past uh, California 299, which is where I started today. And that's a very good place, I think, to do that kind of thing. The trail, very easily graded. Uh, what grade there was, was mostly downhill. Uh, uh, and since I first saw that video some years ago, I thought, wow, I wonder how many I can do in 24 hours. And then, as I've been hiking along these months, I was thinking, you know, that's probably not a good idea. <laughs> that's probably just going to get me hurt. So, I think what I want to try, though, is a 12-hour challenge. Maybe two 12-hour challenges. So, let me think about that overnight. Let me see where I am, where I end up tonight, and if that sort of makes logical sense that when I get up and get going in the morning, I just set out and set a timer, 12 hours, see how far I can go. Let me think about that. Might be a nice challenge, adding a little spice to walking through the woods here.